I called and they came. There we go. Now, I'm gonna go check and make sure there's none of them are left up there because it's moving day for the lambs to fresh pasture. This decimation. A lot of this is um, chicory. You can see here's a chicory flower on the end of this long, long stalk. So they've knocked them down and eat them, eaten them. There's some that are still up, still standing and flowering. But the good part of this is this is a limestone shelf and there's areas where the soil is only that thick. Literally, I cannot get a uh, electric um, post, you know, the little ones with the, you know, three, four inch spike. I can't get them into the ground, but that much because there's solid rock underneath us. So I'm building carbon. I am building soil. This is why I bale graze in here. This is why it looks like it's a has a hard time through winter um, because I'm building the soil as much as possible. And you do that allowing the plants to grow to their full stature. And then you let the sheep and the horses and the alpaca graze through here. So it's a combination of them stomping it down as well as their manure and urine will build the soil. And when I've got the hay in here, it does the same thing. So, yeah, and creating a rich soil. These, this plant also, this is chicory, and it has one of the deepest roots. So with the deep roots, it'll go down into the limestone and it will grow in and create cracks in the stones or work through, more like work through the cracks and potentially make them bigger. Soil and water will get in and then the reaction, reaction of uh, frost and warmth and water will crack the limestone a bit. So that's why I want, and things like this, this is a deep root as well. The dock go really, really deep. And there was sand foin in here. It's probably been eaten, so I won't see it. But yeah, I'm building carbon or sequestering carbon to create a really, really healthy, rich, deep soil. And that's the intention. But it's all kinds of different grasses as well. You can see right here, there's cock's foot. And there's this lovely fluffy grass. Look at that. More cock's foot, loads of cock's foot right here. This is another grass here. You can see different seed heads. Here's different seeds heads again. So creating the biodiversity and allowing the plants to seed. So all these grasses and hopefully a lot of that chicory will reseed and go into the soil. And so many of these herbs in here are medicinal. So that is um, my grass, the reason why I have this high level here and it creates less nettles or no what are these things called thistles and yes it definitely creates less um, nettles but this field is definitely it looks wild and woolly and boy does the insect love the wild and woolly and the insect life feeds the birds so we like doing those things wet and miserable it's raining Come on, babies. Can you move? Move out of the way. Come on, dogs. It's pouring rain. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on, babies. Woo! Come on. Come on. Yep. They're deciding to go and eat apples. Falling apples.
good sheep. Come on. Ooh, it's raining. It's raining, raining, raining. Okay. I've got to... I haven't opened and closed gates. I forgot to do the advanced bit of farming. Opening and closing gates. All the flock is coming down the hill. They're behaving, but I'm not ready for them yet. Okay, hopefully that'll stay closed. I've got to open gates. Okay, come on, babies. Hoo, hoo. Come on. Come on. Come on. The horses. Babies. Java, leave them. It really is pouring rain. Oh, they haven't had a mineral bucket for a few days. No, Java, leave them. Stay there, dogs. Look at that. And look at this. This is a bit of chicory, and literally a sheep passed over it and took a bite. Look at that. They love chicory. Anyway, now they're in a really delicious, rich pasture of grass. Really, really good for lambs. The growing food. They've had the herbal food for worming and foot care. Now they're having... These ones are having a lovely time drinking the water mineral lick. It's been soaking. The horses are looking on, saying, what about us? You're fine. You have plenty of grass out there. Anyway, that is happy sheep and lambs, even if it is raining. And you're soaking wet, pup, aren't you, Java? Look at you. You're soaking wet. Oh, look, you're so wet. You're so wet. Oh, guess what's missing? The alpaca aren't here. I better go find the alpaca. They're supposed to be down here as well. Okay, all set for the mucking out. Now power hosing this shed clean. And it's a mucky day. Rain, rain, rain. So this is the a bit of the after. It'll get cleaner than that. But you can see it's really mucky. But I must say, power hosing is one of the most satisfying things when you get it from looking like that to looking a lot more like that. And the dogs love it too, don't you? Love eating all those juicy bits of manure that are re-wetted. But power hosing is one of the most satisfying uh, things to do. So all the gates, the walls, the floor, the only thing that doesn't get power hosed is the ceiling. There a bit of the way. I still have a bit more to do. Don't I, puppies? Yuck, 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 yuck. Muck, 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 muck.
Well, getting there. A few more loads of nasty wet manure. Stinky stuff, excellent for the garden. Growing vegetables, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. And the dogs all have shitty, stinky feet. Don't you? Yeah. Java, what are you doing? Don't go up in there. It is really manky and you're already yucky as it is. Yeah. Okay. Onwards.
been going at it all day long. So I'm going to have to give it a break until tomorrow. Just a little bit left to do. Almost done. And everything looking so tidy. Nearly. Not quite. Nearly. <laughs>